Hello adventurers, it's your man Zero here, your favorite hero. Guys, I did my polls on the collab event and I got roasted. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's hop in. Hey guys, so we are going to relive this experience together. I did do these polls on the day the banner dropped, so it's going to suck reliving this. But I hope you, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So let's uh, let's go to my polls here and just play the previous recording. And we can go over what I get and the suffering I experienced. So here we're just going to take a look really quickly at the actual different pulls. That one is actually a really good deal. Uh, I did my first pull with that one, of course. I hopefully you guys did too. And you can actually have a chance, a very small chance, to get the event weapon from the step up, which is super cool and has event weapons that were still in banners, right? So we had the featured weapon for Aerith. And that was actually in the in that banner as well, so it was definitely worth doing, uh, at least to like step four. You know, get two free pulls for, you know, what, a regular pull. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, but here we just start off with the first free one, and then uh, after this one, I am going to go and do my other free one, my daily, and we have that one guaranteed five star as well pull. That was awesome. What a great quality of life. I mean, if we get you know free five stars all the time i'm not gonna complain are you guys gonna complain i hope you're not gonna complain hopefully we get lots of tickets over the next little while here so i got zach in this one i'm not i can't remember what it was so let's uh let's check here all right and i got the magic shuriken i definitely need more mats for that one and my zach weapon is oh man so definitely getting up there in stars already but it's a great start at least we we're on a free pull we got a five star that's a that's a good win snowflake always need more mats for that mm -hmm. wind slash i finally got that one to ob to ob1 i think and it took me a while to even get that out of the four star stage and surprisingly we got a new weapon Now we're gonna do the other crossover events. This one is not the one with the guarantee. But let's see how we do. Alright. Cloud and it's regular attire. And parry. Nice. That's off the free pull, the daily. Hopefully, I, I can't remember what I got. I, hopefully, it was lots of them. I, maybe, maybe two. Maybe two five stars. That does happen sometimes. One. Just one. Okay, and it's red. That's too bad. I don't really use red very much. All right, and it's the Rage Caller. Always get a good copy of that. That's not OB10 yet. After all of this, I'm, I've am i now officially hit the area where I'm getting OB-10 10 weapons. It's only been like four months since the release of the game. Oof. And I got my like first two or three. All right, so this one is guaranteed. So this one was appearing for three days, three. And um, every pull had a guaranteed five star. So hopefully you guys didn't think that you were just super lucky. No. Nope. It was a guarantee, which is great. What a nice quality of life thing to give us. All right, come on. Dodge. Parry. I mean, it's a guaranteed anyway, but I always prefer the parry. Got to get that DPS in, you know, that one extra hit. Okay, and oh, a Cephi. Nice. Could always use more Cephi copies of anything. I use them a lot. I use them a lot. I use Cloud a lot, Tifa a lot, and Aerith a lot. Everybody else definitely falls by the wayside. Oh, not nice. Uh, Glared? Something like that. Man, that one is a hard one. Most of the weapons have weird names, but you eventually get used to them, supposedly. So I didn't do any of the Valentine's Day ones, but uh, now that we're here, we can uh, go and take a look at our wish list and change this up. 
because there are definitely some weapons here that I did not need. So that's one thing oh, that's super, super cool. On page two, you get two copies guaranteed. So by that time you finish page two, you already have OB2, which is great. Like I would be very happy if they did that in the future for all banners. Even the whales will be happy about that one. And the second page isn't that far of a stretch either, so it's, it's pretty good. Like if you get lucky on tickets, you can definitely, or rather on um, stamps, you can get there pretty easy. So here I'm just going through, uh, I can't remember what I finalized at. So what I'm actually gonna do is fast forward into the future. All right, so there's my final lineup. Now we're gonna go and do our pulls on the actual banner. So you did see, I did have some tickets and that's from that first one that popped up, right? The one for 1,500 paid and whoa, I mean, who doesn't have that just by buying their regular pass? So that was a steal. That was a really good deal. Uh, and hopefully the people who do put any money in the game, you're making sure you're buying that one. The tickets themselves are just in general well worth it because you end up getting a discount at least of a thousand uh, crystals, right? So it's pretty good. Great way to keep yourself going. Some people say there's like better odds when you're using paid currency. I don't think so. I have crazy odds with tickets. I have crazy odds with just regular pulls on blue. So, you know, I'm all right with it. Nice, I started off with a parry. That's from the very first pull on this banner. You know, one tick, one stamp, but hey, a five star, nice. Okay, what did I get? Oh, two. Well, I, I, I definitely like that start. So we got Sephiroth and Matt. Okay, what did I get from Matt? Ah, this was a wish list item, the Killer Hornet. Quite happy with that. I think that actually put me on OB6, which is really good. All right. And another copy of the Radiant Edge, which is great. I think that actually puts that at OB6 as well. Great weapon to have, by the way. I, my fire build now is just ridiculous. My fire cloud is just so good. All right, so just gonna go in and change those. All right, take off the one for Matt. And we'll put on the Twinkling Star, also a very good wishlist item. And for Sephiroth, I think I actually kept Radiant Edge on there because I wanted more copies. And one star, oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. The stamp look was crazy bad. Uh, we did have one friend in our in the community, 7th Heaven, what's up, um, that had crazy luck on stream free congrats man that was those were huge stamp luck draws and now with with oh oh a midasami ichigo outfit let's see him go bankai but free did had amazing luck man i'm so happy for you and like with the stamp card the second one being like so like valuable stamps just like went on a a main priority like if, if you were already going just for outfits and stuff you already had that kind of idea but uh, bald eagle okay bald eagle is a good one to get i do need more mad minute though that's the one i'm missing and then i think i'm gonna double check because i want to make sure i have mad minute on my wish list and not bald eagle so i'm gonna switch that up as well now which one is bald uh, mad minute Mm, no, not that one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so you can t take a look at the stats. It's, it's a good weapon to have. For our abilities, real good. All right, let's go again. Come on, more than one. Three. Oh, nice. Yeah, I forgot I got that three. That must have felt real good, especially after two pulls. Three pulls? with five stars. That's pretty solid, man. That's pretty, pretty good. Okay. Are you love it? 
I can live with that, Cloud. But, you know, do me justice, man. Keep up with the dodges. Keep up with the parries. Come on, man. Do it. And... Come on. And this... Is when things start to turn. You'll see what I mean. Oh, dude. Okay, well, I figure, okay, we'll push through. i just go one more time. I really should have went back, changed equipment around, come back, because supposedly that fixes some uh, some of your odds. So if you're ever having like a hard go, multiple runs, just switch one of the wishlist items with another wishlist item and maybe it will reset it. So two, that's a good amount of stamps at least. So we got a guarantee for our first one, our first copy. And I did go hard on these gloves, guys. Um, very good banner. To, to do that on uh, the previous cloud weapon from the Final Fantasy IX collab is still regarded as one of the best weapons in the game. Like the the base damage percentage is phenomenal and it's super good for like fighting Bahamut and stuff because he doesn't have elemental weaknesses, right? The same with Iron Giant, no elemental weaknesses. So uh, good weapon, good weapon to get. Uh, hopefully the second banner isn't as crazy. Oh, nice. Oh, that's our guarantee. So that's our new weapon, guys. Look, look at this beautiful animation. Come on, Tifa. Yeah. Yeah, I love the the beatdown that she gives with these gloves. They're slick. And yeah, like I said, very good. If you're, if you're going to be going hard on a banner, like say you've saved up a lot of your blue crystals, this is the banner that you want to get at least an OB6 weapon, guys. These tickets, again, super, super worth. Definitely worth it for this event. Okay. One ooh, single stamp. I believe this is when my luck starts. It's a little bit funny right now. Or maybe it was better than I thought it was, because that is possible. All right, Cloud, show me what you're working with, man. Do your daddy Lebonski some justice. Do your daddy some justice. Damn, another block. And only one purple. <laughs> Oof. Okay, well, we got some more draw tickets, so let's do those. Super cool addition. I like it. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Another three. So we, we actually had pretty solid stamp luck. So we got almost to Tifa's outfit. And one, two, three, four, five pulls. That's slick, guys. Especially because like those were dis the discounted, right? So I got, you know, basically all but one of those pulls was tickets. That's good, if you think about it, you know? Yeah, I remember watching Free and... Oh, man, another block. Free and he uh, he was having crazy luck. It gave me that itch, you know? It gave me that itch. I'll, we're basically recently been... Oh, lots of purples. That's good. Got well, how many copies? 22 copies. Not bad, at 82 already. That's really good within so many pulls. But normally now we've been doing pulls as a community, guys. So you should definitely hop into 7th Heaven Discord and come join us for some pull sessions. It's pretty pretty cool having so many people. And what we do is we do like, you lay out all the people that are doing it at the same time. We're like totally boosted on it. So we can watch all of these in like a good quality and it's just pure fun, guys. So many, so much competition and just pulls. We're so funny. What a bunch of funny, funny guys. Yeah, we're trying to build a nice community over there, so come on by. Okay, what do I get on this one? Uh, ooh, dodge. Nice. 
Okay. More than one, or is it just the one? And is it a copy? Or is it a whole bunch of other things? By the way, the single weapon banners stick to it. Oh, Sephiroth. Oh, that's too bad. But Sephiroth is a running theme for a lot of people during this bull session. Oh, nice. A leather lie. And I got her outfit. Great. Amazing outfit, guys. It base physical attack percentage automatically increases to 15%. Like, that's huge. That's like level three. Another three pull. Awesome. Does that mean I get the weapon? Yes. So I had pretty good stamp luck. Um, that's that's good. I didn't think I real I did when I was doing it. I guess comparatively, right? But really good stamp luck. So I'm very happy with that. And a lot of parry. So I mean, a lot of five stars. Not the five stars I want. Well, I I, I do want them. They're the wishlist items. But it's not the banner weapon. But again, this is this is how I got to like OB sixes and OB tens now. Just the sheer luck in getting any five star. What is it? Oh wait, it was another parry. Okay, I I had a much better summoning session than I thought I did. Rip Talon. Rip ticks. Sorry to hear about your pulls, man. So there's my OB one copy. Lots of purple too. It's not bad. So this pack was actually would have been pretty good, guys. That pack that you saw there, that probably would have been a really good pack to get. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and switch out the lie for something else because I do believe that took me to OB6. And I'm going to put Glenn's axe on because I do want that built up because it has really good our abilities as well look 42 or 46 for attack and physical ability boost 26 very good you, sh you should all be putting that weapon on your wish list like straight up kill a hornet twinkling star and that axe oh dude you need those you need those for your to build like an amazing powerhouse okay one is it not a very good pull? That's all right. It's the guaranteed five star. Hopefully, it's what we think it is. And it won't be, guys, because it wouldn't be a gotcha if the RNG was that good. All right. Right, what's up, what's up? I'm really hoping that the game got really good revenue over this event, uh, just because I want this game to keep going. I've been having a really good time, and it's such an amazing community, and I want to be seeing this game last for two years, three years. Hopefully it doesn't cost too much overhead to produce for this game. At least we know they don't have to recreate characters, right? We're just getting you weapons and stats on those weapons, so, you know, maybe a little lower cost in development, which is cool. But I do hope we see things like Dirge of Cerberus, what, a cloud, wicked. Was that a fake out? No, it's guaranteed five star. Nice, and it's the sky splitter, wicked. Again, wish listed item. Okay, how many do I get this time? Three, yeah, really good stamp luck. Wow. And we're already almost at Red's outfit. Sheesh. Okay, regular outfit. I'm okay with it. As long as you produce, I'll produce results here. Come on. I know you're not a diversity hire. I know you got this. Every team must employ at least one Mako infused person. Right, that's why we got Sephiroth. 
One, two. Ooh, nice. And is that the Tifa glove? Is that was it a Karen T? Either way, nice. Always good to get another copy. Okay, what do we get for Glenn? Is it the axe? Oh, what a chip. I mean, probably not a bad weapon. I don't really know the substats on that one, but I wanted the other axe, the purple one. Come on. All right, so what am I sitting at? 507, so I have OB2. So this is my, uh, that was my OB2 drop. Oh yeah, let's, let's get those. 100%, because if I don't use them now, then I'll use them in the future banners, right? Because you can actually save the tickets. I mean, it makes you use them first, which which is one thing I think I wish they would change where you could just buy tickets and just set them aside and then just use your regular currency. So that way we can stock up on red, like the tickets so that way we can use those on big, ba big banners, right? So we can save money over time. And that said, they'll probably give us really good discounted ones at the very beginning. So here we are building up our weapon, going to OB. OB2, come on, and getting that beautiful, beautiful background. Okay, so jumping right there to 780. See that? That was base. It's not even leveled, guys. And then it jumps up, I believe. I'm not sure to remember what, but it keeps going. All right, let's collect the, that wallpaper and see how beautiful it is. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna just set it because I definitely love the Aerith one and I love the new Tifa one. Just because it's got some really good particle effects. Here, let's check it out, okay? I'm gonna actually uh, put it up here so you guys can take a look at it. Though I'm sure most of you already got it. But here it is, it's gonna be on my background. Ooh, yeah. See, look at those particle effects, guys. That's, that's really nice, and that's what I loved about Aerith's too. So I did notice that they made the event ones stagnant. Come on. Come on, guys. It doesn't take much to animate a, a, the sky. You know what I mean? So hopefully you guys start giving us, you know, animated event ones again, because for the crossover, no animated background, the app do better. Right? Oh, no. Too bad, man. I'm not getting hit again. There's no way. Nope, don't need it. Okay, so uh, what I wanted to do in this second portion of the video is I wanted to show you guys what I did after that previous recording. So we'll go here to the draw section. And you can see here that I am on step five. So before in the video, you saw me go and do pull 10 for the free one. Well, afterwards, I started pulling on the crossover again. And you'll notice, guys, I'm on fourth right? The fourth card. Well, I kept pulling and I had some pretty, sh pretty, I would say have to, it would have to be good luck, right? I don't have the recording and unfortunately, but I feel like I did pretty good because I know that going through the third card. So I, I finished the first card and I got red, which, okay, I guess. And then I kept going on the third card, completed the third card. I think I got some pretty, like lots of ones, but the pulls were solid because I ended up at OB8 of the weapon. Didn't buy any from the ticket shop or anything like that. Just got it through the pulls at OB8. Then I went back here because I was like, okay, well, you know, I can get myself that one guarantee for only, you know, a, a, a small amount of pulls, right? So th 3K, 6K. 9k so for 9k i have a you know a good amount of weapons i get a five star here i get a five star here five star here like okay it's worth it so uh, i started going and at step three i got another copy from there um i did the fourth because well it's free why the heck wouldn't i and i finished it up by going to the actual weapon itself and you guys can see what i see right this thing is at OB10. This is one of my first ever OB10 weapons through pulling on a banner. I've been like just hoarding my coins and like praying for luck and finally managed to get it at a decent amount of pulls, but worth it. I'm already at 10K again and at 3K, 
paid and I am happy with that. And yeah, I just used, I had 289 weapon parts. So I said, you know, why the heck not? So I used that to get it to 10. And now I can sit back and enjoy my beautiful new weapon. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care of yourselves, adventurers. Be well. Don't break the bank either, guys. Make sure you're playing it smart. I did. I saved up a lot over time here just to make sure that I was able to do it on this banner. Catch you guys on the next one.